Okay, I might have a small problem with shoes. Oh, they dropped one. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Dave Dillon from Chase the Summit. Today we're gonna talk about the brand new Ultra Lone Peak 4.5 and what I think about it so far. Before we get into it, make sure you subscribe down below and give me a thumbs up if you thought this was a helpful video. I really appreciate that, it makes me feel good inside. I apologize for the lack of videos lately, but I got my wisdom teeth removed a week ago and my jaw is still killing me. I've been a long time wearer of the Ultra Lone Peak line of shoes all the way back to the Ultra Lone Peak 1.5 I think it was. That was like four or five years ago now. So right now I own five pairs of Lone Peaks varying from the Lone Peak 3.0 to the 3.5 to the 4.0 and now the 4.5. I guess you could call me a bit of a fanboy. For good reason though, I ran a 100 mile race just a month ago wearing Lone Peak 4.0s, never took the shoes off once, never changed my socks, nothing. And by the end of the race, I didn't have a single blister. I'm not sure too many people can say that. Let me preface this review by saying that just because these shoes work for me, doesn't mean they're gonna work for you. You definitely have to go try these things on to see if it works for your foot. This whole game we play with shoes is how it fits. So the Lone Peak has been around for a while. Uh, Alter keeps updating and revisioning it. Usually they go from one to 1.5 to two to 2.5. They do these halfway points and make minor tweaks to the design. I've got a very well used pair of Ultra 4.0s here. I actually own three pairs of these shoes and I love the 4.0s. Um, I had a couple of issues with durability and that's kind of the theme with these shoes. We'll get into that in a little bit, but these have never let me down. So when I heard they updated the Lone Peak, I went straight on Amazon and tried to find a pair of these and grabbed the first pair I found. Unfortunately, it came in this awkward lime green color, which it's kind of growing on me now. First, let's talk about my experience with the Ultra Lone Peak 4.0. The Lone Peak 4.0 treated me very well. This this still has mud caked in the bottom of it. <laughs> oh yeah, these are uh, these are quite worn. As far as traction goes, they were great. I thought they looked really cool. They were super comfortable, but I did have a few issues with these shoes. First off, the durability of the midsole. The midsole on the Ultra Lone Peak 4.0 went flat almost immediately out of the box. I mean, I'm talking uh, 100 miles. After 100 miles or so, these shoes started to feel like flat tires. That's not a great feeling for long runs, which is why I end up owning three pairs of these. The other issue I had is the lacing system. So if you look right about here, there's these little black loops. And these are meant to lock your heel in while you're running. But when you lace these up and tighten them, these black loops actually tighten more than the rest of the shoe. And that creates like a really tight point right in the middle of the foot here. And the only way I found to get around this was to leave my shoes pretty loose all the time. Now, if you take a look at the new Ultra Lone Peak 4.5, you can see that they didn't include that little loop there. And it's just a standard traditional lacing system. Another issue I had with the Lone Peak 4.0s was general durability. If you look here, uh, you can see that the toe box actually ripped open. And I'd say that's an issue. <laughs> I don't have enough miles to gauge how good the 4.5s will do in durability, but I can say that they did reinforce that area that tends to rip open on my shoes. So that's a welcome design change in my book. Hopefully that means these will last a little bit longer. So that's really it as far as things I didn't like about the old Ultra Lone Peak 4.0, and it seems like they've addressed those issues in this new 4.5. I can say the midsoles in the Ultra Lone Peak 4.5s do feel a little bit firmer out of the box, but I think that's because they've tweaked their design a bit to hold up a little bit more over time. I'm willing to give up a little cushion out of the box for long-term durability. So the Ultra Lone Peak 4.5 is the same as like all the other Ultras. They are a zero drop platform. That means that there is zero drop from heel to toe, unlike a more traditional running shoe, which usually has an elevated heel by five to 12 millimeters. The zero drop platform works great for me, but it doesn't work great for everybody. And if you're thinking about getting into the shoe, you might want to transition into it slowly. Don't go out on your first run and do like 50 miles right off the bat. You will find your Achilles tendon and calves will lock up pretty quickly. Once you're used to this kind of shoe, they are great though. It works great for reducing fatigue in your legs over time. The Ultra Lone Peak uses a sole design they like to call the Trail Claw. I'm a huge fan of this. It's super aggressive. It's got big lugs, big hexagonal shapes, big arrow shapes, big everything. The outsole of the Lone Peak 4.5 hasn't changed that much since the old 3.0. They've kind of stuck with this layout for a while now, but there has been little tweaks over time. I find this outsole to work great in almost any condition. Wet, dry, dusty, muddy, 
anything. This sole even works pretty good on snow. They've got two different kinds of rubbers in here. One's a firmer rubber and the other one's kind of a softer, stickier rubber. Overall, you get great traction on just about any surface. The Ultra Lone Peak 4.5 also features a unique stone guard rock plate. It's basically a plastic plate inside the sole that prevents sharp rocks from digging through and getting to your foot. That's a welcome feature up here in New England. We have lots of sharp granite rocks on our trails. It can get a little tedious avoiding all the sharp ones. The Lone Peak 4.5 also features tie down points for your gaiters. They've got a Velcro strap in the back and they've also got a tie down in front of the lacing system here. This is great for just about any kind of gaiter, but it is particularly designed for their trail gaiter that they sell. A minor design change, but a huge upgrade for me is this like double looped uh, strap in the back here. It makes putting on the shoes so much easier. Got a much more durable handle and I don't feel like I'm gonna rip it off even when I'm tugging pretty hard on it. So I've only got about 50 miles in on these shoes and they're holding up pretty good so far. They're still very comfortable. I can't really comment on long-term durability yet, but because they've upgraded the areas where I've seen wear before, I'm pretty happy with the design so far. The shoes are very breathable, and even if you submerge your foot in water or a stream, they dry out pretty quick. The Ultra Lone Peak 4.5 features a 25 millimeter stack height. This is the same as the older 4.0. And this is like a medium range cushion shoe. It kind of lands somewhere in the middle and that's where I like to be. I like to be right between max and min cushion. As far as looks go, beauty is in the eye of the beholder here, but I'm a pretty big fan of this design. They've got this mountain range on the side and in this like lime green color, which I'm kind of growing into. I think my new favorite color might be lime green. <laughs> Although it is strange that they got this like ketchup red sole on the bottom. I'm okay with it. It's a trail shoe. It's not a beauty contest, right? Although you gotta look good when there's a photographer at the race. As far as sizing goes, I wear a 10 and a half in just about every ultra shoe I own. And it's no different here. This is a 10 and a half size shoe and it fits me perfectly. I should note that I also wear a 10 and a half in most of my street shoes. So sizing seems pretty consistent so far. They did tweak the design a little bit in the heel too. It's actually a little bit snugger and thinner padding. I'm a big fan of that. I felt like the older Ultra Lone Peak 4.0 had a little bit too much padding around the heel. This year they addressed that, thinned it out. As far as weight goes, I'm getting 11.6 ounces on the Lone Peak 4.5 and 11.6 ounces on the Lone Peak 4.0. So they are exactly the same weight. This is definitely not an ultra light shoe, but I've never really noticed the weight on my foot. Maybe it's because I'm used to this style of shoe. So as far as price goes, the Ultra Lone Peak 4.5 comes in at $119, which is kind of what I expected. I think every Lone Peak has been $119. Something to note though, you can find the Lone Peak 4.0 for as low as 80 bucks right now, which is a great deal. I'll throw affiliate links down in the description for the Lone Peak 4.5 and 4.0, so you can see their best pricing right now. So that's all I got for today. I just wanted to do a quick review about the Lone Peak 4.5 and share my thoughts with you. It's a great shoe so far and I can't wait to wear it for all my 2020 races coming up. Let me know what your trail shoe is. Are you wearing the Lone Peak 4.5 or something different? Let me know in the comments down below. I hope you guys are getting out there and training hard even though it's dark and cold all the time. It's character building, right? Character. Have a great day.